everybody. It's Tuesday, 17th of July. I'm uh, about two miles, mile and a half from exiting the northern edge of desolation wilderness. I'm hiking out. I just do not feel it today. I feel drained. Tossed and turned a bit last night. I don't know why. Had a good dinner. Hit the sack at like 7. The only thing I can think of, what am I? I'm at 8,100 feet, so I'm not that high. I just don't know why I don't have any energy. I drank a ton of water yesterday, electrolytes to just not feeling it, just not feeling it today. Um, could be the last two days I've been running on, on high overdrive with my adrenaline and energy. It was just... It, it, the scenery and everything just put you in that mode um, and it kept you going now I'm just like in the blah <laughs> the blah trail this just reminds me of New England except once in a while you get a peek over there like in between those trees like whoa but yeah I don't know if I there's like a haze or a smoky look in the, in the air, too. If you look up there by the trees, you might be able to see it. I don't know what's going on. It's, re it's really... The air is heavy. And it's... It's... Uh, I don't know. It's dead calm, which is unusual. Usually there's a little breeze up here, which is nothing. So I don't know. Maybe I'll snap out of it. I'm not want to sound down. I'm just relaying to you the different levels of um, energy and enthusiasm that you run into on these trails. You know, it's not a high every day. Eventually, all that catches up to you. I think I think that's what's happening today. It's just all coming. All coming down now, so I'm due, I'm, I'm due for a zero. I have two days, maybe tomorrow night or first thing the next morning. I'll be going in the Tahoe. I think I'm gonna take a zero. So that would be Tahoe City, not Tahoe, not Salt Lake. This is Tahoe City. The trail goes right. You have to walk right through the center of town. So. Right now, I think I'm, uh, I'm due for a break. I'm not going to just heat you. Oh, plus it was really hot yesterday, too. But I went for a couple of swims. I felt good at the time. But, okay. Let's just one step in front of the other and just enjoy this. Could, this is the territory that you can see some wild like, like bear or deer. So I got my camera set. I got my bear spray ready. Because I'm in like, nothing's jiggling on my pack. Everything is tied down. I'm like in stout mode. So it would be easy for me to walk up on something. All right, let's see what today brings. Out in just about. Hundred yards or so from getting out of the uh, wilderness, desolation wilderness. <sighs> Been a nice hike. I'm doing about two miles an hour, I guess, right around there. I'm not really pushing. I'm just kind of going for a hike. Have a 
couple of real minor ups and downs, but basically I've been on this ridge overlooking the valley here to the uh, mountains on that's a lot of that's where we were the other day right over there yeah still a lot of snow up there uh, i can't imagine what it was like last year when they had the record breaking snow probably all all covered white at this time last year oh well, i guess we're going down going down for quite a bit because I don't see well I see a mountain range across the valley <coughs> oh, excuse me <coughs> oh, I got a little bug in my throat <coughs> so I guess uh, the trend is to go down I think I think Tahoe City's like at 6500 and I'm at 79 so we gotta get down quite a bit That'll be the trend the next day or two. Okay, it's 11 o'clock. Just left a little pond. You couldn't swim in it because it was too shallow. It would have been a bit of mud. But we were able to get to fresh water. So we have fresh water. Carrying another three liters. I probably don't have to because it looks like there's a lot of water for the next six miles. But a lot of this stuff has dried up. So I'm not taking any chances. So three will be sufficient. Um, real hot. It's hot today. I'm just poking along. I don't even, every step I take is like in the bank. I'm not looking. I blew out my whole uh, schedule. I'm just, I'm just gonna go. But I'm really slow today, so if I even get eight miles in, I'll be, <laughs> that'll be, that'll be a miracle. Yeah, no wind. It's just dead. The air is thick. I don't know, it must be the fires in California or something. It just seems to be this haze in the air, and it's, and it's dead warm air, so it's, it's not really giving you any enthusiasm to move. So I don't want to get dehydrated. I don't want to get over exerted. So I'm just, I mean, I'm just taking a stroll. And then we'll see what tomorrow brings, you know? So right now I'm got a bunch of these little puds up and, up and down. But I don't know if I'll get to it today, but I'm going to be entering the Granite Chief Wilderness area. Only for like a, a mile or two, maybe two miles. And then that's when I'll be splitting off. The PCT guys will be heading northwest. And the TRT people, which I don't think there's too many of us right now, um, are going to be bearing off to the uh, northeast direction, making my turn into Tahoe City. Uh, there's really a lot of people on the trail. All of them seem to be the PCT people. I'm like in a bubble here. The, all these people right now are like April 25th to May, first part of May. It seems to be the dates that they're telling me that they started in Mexico. So I'm with the latter part of the April bubble, I guess. Um, they're gonna gonna they gotta hustle and get up to Canada before the snow falls. They gotta basically get up there by the middle of September or they're gonna get into trouble with snow. So unless it's a mile deal then they can might, might stretch it into October but who, you don't know from year to year so um, but they're probably used to this heat because they just got out of the desert the Mexican <laughs> Well, not really, just, but maybe three weeks ago, they were in the, uh, they were in the desert, so they're probably uh, used to this, I'm not. I, I don't know how much I'm going to be videoing today, but again, I'll give you a clip maybe at the end of the day. All right. 
Oh, this is freaking hot. I think I might spend an hour here just sitting in this water. I'm gonna just sit in this water, cool off. Too freaking hot today. Oh shit. I'm drinking. I'm drinking like every every quarter mile I'm having water. I'm sipping it. It's just the air is so thick today. It's not moving. Oh, I could take a nap too. Oh shit. Today's one of those dog days of summer, I think, in California. Yep. Oh, we get up. What was that? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm just gonna relax. That's my plan. So I'm only 10 miles from the town, uh, Tahoe City. And then I want to go into the Outfitters, check them out, see what they have. I want to try on a pair of shoes. I'm not going to buy any that I, right now. My feet feel still. Well, they're getting a little sore now, but that's just because I'm walking on all these freaking rocks. Rocks kill you. And then just put my feet up and relax and get ready for the because the next four days is going to be a grind. There's very, very little water. And I got a 10 and an 11 foot mountain. Well, I have one 10,000 Frio and then I have, I think, an 11,000, which is Echo Mountain that I have to climb. So, which which I think I'm in shape for now. Well, I know I am. Um, I'm sure I am glad I'm not starting. I didn't have to start off climbing those things. I did start off at Echo, but it was basically at the height. So now, I the tendency was to go down in elevation for the first <clears throat> week of my uh, hike versus starting the Tahoe going clockwise now the first four days you're climbing 10 11 thousand feet right off the bat that that would have killed me that would that would have killed anybody I don't recommend that if you're if you're coming out here do not go clockwise and do not start at Tahoe City maybe go counterclockwise yeah but don't go clockwise, you're, unless you're in super shape, and then go for it. Uh, I started at Kings, uh, I, well, again, I started at um, uh, Echo, and I went clockwise. So I was at, the, I started at the highest peak and came down. And that worked out for this Eastern boy. Taking a right. This is a nice camp area right here for tents. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to see much today now. I'm going to just be going down through the dry area. So we'll see you later at some point.